decides to take a stand and rally fellow passengers, he does not get the reception for which he'd hoped. No, I everywhere. do not wear a mask because I do not believe I need one. Traveler Paige Peterson captures the rant on her cell phone as the man is just getting started and more people start to notice him. <laughs> if you don't believe in individual liberty. When another traveler reminds him that there are children present, he quickly adjusts his rant to be more PG-13. I do not give a Here, we're not I do not give a crap. As the reporter and others nearby giggle at the monologue, eventually the other passengers just try to make their way past him to their gates, ignoring his diatribe. You have a right, my body, my choice. Gary Questenberry is retired air marshal and a situational awareness expert. Gary, um, I got to see with all the flying that you've done in your lifetime, probably, um, this kind of behavior hasn't been unusual in airports in the last couple of years. In the last couple of years, you see a lot more of this than you would any other time. And unfortunately, especially given today's, you know, penchant for people just to immediately break out the cell phones and start recording, I think this guy was more looking for his Braveheart moment as opposed to, you know, making his point known about, you know, my body, my choice. Yeah, he keeps asking for everybody else to join him. It's notable that nobody else does. Right, yeah, rise up. He was wanting everybody to rise up and it kind of fell flat. Once he realized that's what was happening, he kind of just moved along. We really don't see airport security stepping in, at least in the video. I take it an air marshal would never blow his cover to try and calm that situation down. In a situation like this, our anonymity is the key to our success on the flight. So we don't want to give that up too early. Now, we would monitor the situation, obviously. If things turned violent, then we would intercede. Does this guy face any charges, potentially? Potentially. I mean, he's causing a disturbance and he's keeping people from doing their jobs, which is always, you know, a problem. But it's all going to depend on law enforcement and how he acts with them once they do respond to the situation. Bottom line, it's a Braveheart moment that went flat. Absolutely. He saw this going one way in his head. He was going to steer the populace up and get everybody on his side. And it just didn't work out that way. He tries to rally the other people in the terminal to throw off what he thinks are the shackles of their oppression. It's that simple. It's that simple. Looks like nobody else wanted a revolution on their layover in Atlanta. If the man did manage to board a flight, he would have had to wave the white flag and don the mask. Coming up, a locked car becomes a.